Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. In today's video, we'll be focusing on a heat wave that builds across the Mississippi River Valley with record high temperatures possible to close out the week. And then rounds of severe storms will be wreaking havoc across the Great Plains through this upcoming weekend. And then we'll take a look at the long range forecast update, which does include your Father's Day weekend 2023 forecast later on in in today's video but let's first take a look at the update with El Nino now this is really strengthened over the last couple of weeks here we've gone from Enso neutral conditions at zero to positive territory and that takes us into El Nino especially when you get over plus 0 0.5 and we're actually at plus 0 0.562 as of this morning so we are firmly in weak El Nino status everyone and this is all due in part to the warmer than average temperatures building across the equatorial Pacific Ocean. This signals El Nino conditions, and this is not going anywhere anytime soon. So what this means for our weather pattern is we have a Rex blocking pattern, which what this means is we have a ridge of high pressure that builds to the north across Canada and the northern United States. And then under that, we have troughs and below average temperatures starting to build across the southwest, the southern plains, and the southeast and that takes hold through the day today as we get into late week it really starts to strengthen look at the high pressure system up here in toward Hudson Bay and up into portions of Canada we're going to definitely be seeing that strengthen later on in the week and that really continues to strengthen going into this upcoming weekend as we go into early June so what this means for our temperatures well we will be heating up in a big way so those of you that have been waiting all winter all spring long for the summertime heat it is coming here and starting today we have widespread upper 80s here across southeastern Canada getting into the Great Lakes region and all the way up and down the Mississippi River Valley today as we go into Thursday late this week to start June on June 1st those 80s and 90s will be spreading into places like Toronto getting up there toward Montreal New England and then mid 90s starting to show up across the middle and lower Mississippi Valley later this week and this old only begins to strengthen as that ridge and high pressure system up into Canada definitely continues to strengthen as we get through Saturday, June 3rd. And look at all these middle 90s. These could be record high temperatures in parts of the Ohio Valley, the Midwest, and the Tennessee Valley as we go into this weekend. So definitely seeing the heat building out there. But to the west of this, we are seeing the storm zone. We have rounds of severe weather. So today, another slight risk for severe storms. Very famous area where we've been seeing severe weather all the last several days. This does continue across southwestern Nebraska, western Kansas, getting into parts of the Oklahoma, Texas Panhandle, and into eastern Colorado. We do have a little bit of a nose of severe weather potential nudging its way to the north and east toward the Twin Cities region, northwestern Wisconsin, and getting into northwestern Iowa through the day today. And I'm really concerned about significant hail being the main risk for storms today. We have a lot of energy building up out here across the western high plains. So anywhere in the hatched risk area into eastern Colorado, far southwestern Nebraska, western Kansas, and down into the Oklahoma panhandle. We could be seeing hailstones over golf ball size. That's over two inches in diameter with those storms later on today. So let's time this out. Noon time frame, so through the morning, early afternoon, all is quiet across the Great Plains. But watch as we get through late afternoon and early evening. We stop the clock around 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And you see scattered supercells developing all up and down from north to south across the western high plains. And if you get under one of these storms, they could be producing some damaging hail, especially here into eastern Colorado, getting into western Kansas and the Oklahoma panhandle towards this evening. That will push a little further to the east, become a little bit more of a semi-organized MCS complex or a squall line trying to develop here from South Dakota down through central and western Nebraska. 
Nebraska, western Kansas, and as far south as the northern Texas panhandle through that midnight time frame on your Wednesday morning. And speaking of Wednesday, here we go again. Another chance for severe storms. We have a slight risk across portions of the front range of the Rockies all the way down here toward the Amarillo area, Lubbock, and getting into eastern New Mexico on Wednesday. And we do it all over again across the panhandle of Texas and eastern New Mexico as we start off June on Thursday, June 1st for more severe storms. But over the next several days through this upcoming weekend for total rainfall accumulation from today into tomorrow and going all the way through Sunday morning on June 4th, it will be raining and fierce across portions of the central and southern plains. A lot of these areas will be seeing multiple inches of rain, which is some beneficial news to our ongoing drought across this region. And look at this, guys. Western Kansas, areas that are in extreme, exceptional drought, will be getting two, three, four, who knows, maybe even five inches of rain in spots going through this upcoming weekend. So this could not come at a better time with this drought-stricken area. And look at the drought there, guys. Western Kansas in the red, the maroon reds, that's extreme. That's exceptional drought. This is great news for that area. So definitely seeing some beneficial rains across those areas. But where we're seeing beneficial rains in those areas, we're seeing less rain across the lower Midwest and then the Ohio Valley going through the Sunday, June 4th time frame, it is very absent across Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, southern Wisconsin, eastern Iowa, and parts of eastern Missouri as well. Yeah, there could be some showers and storms, and if you get lucky, you could get up maybe a half inch, three quarters of an inch of rainfall in a localized spot or two, but most of us, 80% of us, probably won't see a drop of rain going through that Sunday afternoon time frame, and that is concerning, especially if you live in the southeastern Iowa, northeast Missouri, eastbound there through central Illinois, central Indiana, and southwestern Ohio. So from the Davenport Quad Cities down here through Peoria, Springfield, Illinois, Indianapolis, and getting over towards Cincinnati through June 12th. That is the area in the Midwest, especially again from Iowa through the Ohio Valley. That's where we see the drought rapidly intensifying as we get into that time frame. So hopefully we can see some rainfall over the next several days to mitigate that as much as we can. But as we even go into early next week, that Rex blocking pattern will hold strong, will hold firm as we have the ridge over top here into southern Canada and the northern United States with more troughs across the south and especially the southeast. And you see the deeper colors here. Yeah, that's another tropical system we'll have to keep an eye on off the coast of the Carolinas as we get into early next week. This could be something we could be talking about over over the next few days. It's a little far out to talk about it right now, but we'll keep an eye on it. But even as we get into next Wednesday, the pattern starts to break down a little bit. We have a stronger trough trying to develop across the eastern side of the country with the ridge backing off to the west into western Canada and the Pacific Northwest. So that may bring relief with some rainfall across the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and the Great Lakes region, but that will only come towards the middle of next week. This is Wednesday, June 7th. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But this is the total accumulated precipitation. Gives you a general idea of where the trends are, where the heaviest rains could be during that June 5th through June 12th time frame. And you do see an absence of rainfall in parts of the Ohio Valley back into central Illinois and southeast Iowa. There could be some rain north of that here into portions of South Dakota, southern, uh, southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, and then getting through southern and central Wisconsin over into Michigan. That would be some good news but then the heaviest of the rains will be falling here into the central and southern plains and the Tennessee Valley and then on up into the New England states during that second week there into June. But then beyond there, this takes us into Father's Day weekend now. So from June 12th through the 19th, getting in towards Father's Day weekend, we see another pattern change where that ridge of high pressure starts to build across the southeast and then we have more troughs across the west. So that means the active weather pattern will be kind of mishmashed across the area. We could be seeing more of some active weather across the Pacific Northwest, could be seeing another pocket of active weather across the middle and lower Mississippi Valley with some areas in between near normal precipitation through that Father's Day weekend time frame. Beyond Father's Day, getting into late June, this goes through June 26, and we see that ridge really hanging tough across the eastern two-thirds of the country and building heat again. Another full-blown heat wave is possible 
across the Mississippi Valley on eastward with troughing more to the west across the Intermountain West, the Pacific Northwest, and the Rockies during this time frame. And you do see much of the precipitation will be falling underneath that ridge across portions of the Southern Plains and the Dixie Alley region during that June 19th through the June 26th time frame. So looking at the severe weather trends, this is the instability, the Cape, convective available potential energy into the second week into June. This is June 5th through the 12th. And we do see that building across the Southern Plains and the Tennessee Valley, and that is the very area we'll be continuing to keep an eye on for severe storms across the central Southern Plains and then over here into the Arklatex region as we get through the June 12th time frame. Then the instability starts to build a little bit further to the north into parts of the Midwest and parts of the Northern Plains and Ohio Valley as we get toward Father's Day weekend. And as such, the severe weather threat should shift a little bit further to the north during this time frame. Right now, this is much more of a low confidence forecast. Even though I do have a likely category, this is more of a conditional likely scenario for severe weather up here into the Dakotas. Minnesota and Wisconsin, especially northern Wisconsin and the western UP of Michigan. So we'll have to keep an eye on this. Otherwise, the threat is there for severe storms as we get toward that Father's Day weekend time frame across these areas, even in the yellow outlined areas in the lower Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and parts of the Mid-Atlantic during that time frame. Well, if you like today's video, be sure to press the a thumbs up button down below the video. Definitely much appreciated and it helps out more than you know. And if you are not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, and you like these detailed weather breakdowns, be sure to press the subscribe button down below. It's free to do when you get all of these detailed weather breakdowns each and every morning at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time on this channel. I do cover Southern Canada, the United States, and the tropics as well. So make sure to subscribe down below. Otherwise, you can also follow me on Twitter for additional weather forecast updates as well. You uh, click the description down below the video and follow me on Twitter at hweather420. I definitely appreciate that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember again to press the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns. I'll get to those later on today. And also don't forget to press the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast updates on this channel. Have a great Tuesday, everybody. A great rest of your week, and I will see you all in the next video.